Hi everybody, this is the screencast for the Aeneid, Book 4, lines 287 through 299. In the section, Aeneas has finally resolved that he's going to leave Carthage and found a new city um, after Jupiter sends Mercury down to tell him what he wants him to do. Um, and this section describes how Aeneas is preparing to leave, as well as how Aeneas plans to tell Dido that he's going to leave her. Um, unfortunately, as you'll see, Dido finds out about Aeneas's plan before he tells her. So, to get started, hike alternanti potior sententius visa est. All right. So, first, alternanti describes Aeneas, and so it's also in the dative, and so it means something like to him wavering. Um. This opinion seemed, we asked in passive, as always seemed, favorable. Um, and then Wogat is also, he, Aeneas is also the subject of Wogat, and so he called both Menestheia, Menestheia and Sergestus and the brave Serestum. Um, Colossum Ottent Takitith, um, the Wokot in the last section actually started, uh, indirect command, and so that's why Optent, Kogont, Parent, and others are all in the subjunctive. Um, and so this means, so he called them to equip the fleet silently and to compel the comrades to the shores. To repair the arms and to conceal the things which are the cause to be made new. And so sit here is subjunctive because it's in an indirect question. Which are the cause to be made new? Okay. Um, se se interea quando optimo dido nesciat. So, meanwhile, he himself, so this is also referring to Aeneas, when finest Dido is ignorant or is unknowing and does not hope um, that such great love, great loves, are being burst. Um, and so Spared has actually begun an indirect statement, which is why Rumpy is an infinitive, but it's not doesn't look like an infinitive in the translation. All right, and so temptaturum, this is actually an FAP. And so, um, would seek an approach. So this is Aeneas seeking an approach. And which time is most mild to be uttered? And so melissima is the superlative. So it's the most mild to be uttered. And which manner was more favorable for these things? All right, Ocius omnes imperio lighti parent accusa facasunt. So Ocius is a comparative adverb. So quite swiftly, all obey, part obey, the command happily and fulfill the commands. But the queen suspects deceit. And then there's just this little like quote in here that's like, who would deceive a lover? And so this next two lines right here are a little weird and so I split them up into color so you can see what goes with what. And so, and first, describing Dido, um, she noticed, escape it, all future emotions, or she noticed future emotions, um, fearing, also describing Dido, all things that were safe. And so basically, everything that she has thought were consistent and constant in her life could 
she thinks could be like deceiving her like that for for example um Inace's love for her all right so last Eadam impia fama so the same wicked rumor um reported to and so this is to Dido implied raging that the fleet was being equipped and the the course was being prepared. So that's the end of this section. I hope this helps.